on Fox, a Portland Uber driver has a warning tonight. She says a man requested a ride, got into her car, and then forced her to drive. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy spoke with the driver tonight and joins us now live in Portland with more on her scary encounter. Connor? Well, Pete and Nora, that Uber driver who goes by the name Cree for safety reasons, says that man, uh, she recently saw that man in southeast Portland where she picked him up at. And he is considered dangerous. And after seeing him still in public, she wants to warn everyone about this potentially dangerous individual. After driving for Uber for more than four years, Portlander Cree never imagined she would be in a situation where her life was on the line. I picked up a rider um, and it just had the first name on 26th and Powell. And he got in my front seat grabbed my phone off the dash and told me to drive or he was going to kill me. Cree says she felt something press up against her head and that the man told her it was a gun, though she never saw it. Regardless of what it was, she started to drive. I truly did not believe I was going to make it out of this situation. Cree was able to stay calm and drove from southeast to 26th Avenue in Powell to a gas station on southeast Grand Avenue. At 3 in the morning, she knew that 24-hour gas station would have people around to help. I told them I needed to grab my key so I could pop the gas tank. I unbuckled my seatbelt, hopped out, and screamed at the top of my lungs. Cree says a group of people at the gas station helped get the man out of her car. As he was walking away, the suspect allegedly fired a gun, but thankfully no one was hit. Cree says she filed a police report that night and was hoping something would have been done. But days after being taken hostage, she saw the same man walking near Southeast 26th and Powell, where he called for an Uber. He's walking freely, visible to everybody, and he hasn't, there's been no contact or he hasn't been arrested or anything. I don't feel like it's being taken serious, and that sucks. Cree says she called again, but still hasn't heard back from police. Now she wants to warn the community about a potentially dangerous man roaming a neighborhood with a park and a school nearby. Gut-wrenching. Just, just seeing him, and I know it's him, completely gut-wrenching. Well, Pete and Nora, I also reached out to Portland Police this evening about Cree's case, but I didn't hear back. However, I did reach out to Uber, and they responded with a statement saying, quote, what the driver endured is, is terrifying, and we are thankful she was able to escape. We banned the writer's account as soon as we were made aware and stand ready to assist law enforcement with their investigation. Now, Cree says she actually disagrees with Uber's statement. Well, the company actually told her initially that they only banned that individual from calling an Uber from Cree's account. But since then, things have changed. And I also asked Cree if she will continue to Uber. And she says most likely only during the day now. Live in Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon.